We have an amazing cross-country running coach, Darren Brungart, who is also a math faculty for our campus. And um, a year ago, we started our first collegiate sport here at the college, NJCAA um, cross-country running team. So this was their first year, and if you have a cross-country running team in Leadville, Colorado, where you have snow about eight months out of the year, you better also be a snowshoe running team. And Darren had some connections to the snowshoe championships, the U.S. Snowshoe Championships before, and thought it'd be a great event. And we are all about bringing people to our community and getting people outside, and um, we think we're the perfect venue. So it was, it was a no-brainer. Um, I was really excited about it. Just it, this course is awesome. It's always just great to be out here racing, and like whenever you're out here on this course, it's just, it just really makes you go super fast. Altitude can hurt a little bit, but it's always awesome. And I really appreciate that the U.S. Snowshoe Association and um, Car Mountain College just put this on and really made this course as awesome as it could be, as fast as it could be today. So really appreciate it. Uh, they're tough, they're tough at this house. Nicely done, congratulations. The, the course had a lot of transitions and uh, it was very undulating, so it didn't allow you to get into a rhythm. And so, you know, for someone like me, I, I feel like I, uh, I love a course like that and it suits me better. This is a good course. I ran the, I qualified up here about a month ago, and I liked it. I really yeah. like it. Yeah. What's your favorite yeah. part of this course? Yes, uh, I remember. Probably the uphill, because I like uphill. Uphill, excellent. Yeah, I don't like downhill. Now Beaver Creek has a lot of powder sections, right? Yes. And that's real different. And, and some single track. Right. So how I do like, you race differently in, in those conditions versus here? Uh, you just adjust your gait a little bit differently. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be, are we going to see you in Eau Claire next uh, year? I hope to, yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And uh, so was there any competition out there today? There were two guys in your age group. Were you guys close together? No, Bill uh, gets pretty far behind me. Bill has trouble on uphill. Uh, he works so hard. He's a vet and he works too hard. Right, <laughs> and, right. Uh, yeah. All right. So what do you do for training in the off season? Do you do trail running or? I run, yeah, I actually do. This will, I only have 10 snowshoe races and I, last year I did 22 trail races. Wow. I, I, trail running is more my thing. And so what's your favorite trail running race? Probably the uh, 10 at 10. All right. Actually, where's that? Okay. Uh, that's on the up top of Beaver Creek Mountain. All right. Well, you got Beaver Creek nailed down. Yeah. Uh, I'll try to, thank yeah. you so much. Okay. Thank you. All right. My favorite part of the course was the steep downhill right before the end. I can just uh, lean forward and let my, the gravity take me down. Um, it's just a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah. You've won several national snowshoe championships then, right? This like is my third. Your third? Okay. Yes. And so how is this course different than some of the other snowshoe national championships that you've won? 
one and a half. This was a lot higher elevation wise. Yeah. Um, they're all very well run, like great competitors. Um, uh, yeah, mostly the, the altitude, the elevation for this one. Yeah. If a trail runner is interested in coming to Leadville, can you give us your top three reasons why you would want to come here to run the trail? You're going to want to train here because um, when you come to over 10,000 feet, every mile you run is like three miles. And, um, you know, you increase those red blood cells and it's just all so stunning. There is nowhere to run up here that you don't turn a corner and uh, it almost makes you emotional how beautiful it is. So there's so many reasons to be here. I'd, I would also say it's a very, very trail running friendly community. Um, everybody's going to help you find the cool spots and the secret spots and um, embrace you here.